Back home, the woman who starved and tortured her Myanmar domestic helper to death was sentenced to 30 years jail today. In sentencing, the High Court judge described the case as among the worst type of culpable homicide, noting that the victim was made to suffer agonizing harm for a long time before she died. In February, Gayathri Murugayan had pleaded guilty to 28 charges. The most serious was culpable homicide, for which prosecutors had sought the maximum sentence of life imprisonment. The Progress Singapore Party has accepted the challenge to debate employment policies and the Singapore-India Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement, which was mooted by Law and Home Affairs Minister K. Shamugam in May. Writing on Facebook, non-constituency MP Leong Man Wai said PSP would seek further information at next month's parliamentary sitting. Mr. Leong told The Straits Times that the party would be asking questions related to the number of employment passes, S-passes and work passes issued from 2005 to 2020. From June 30th, employers will receive job support scheme payouts totaling more than $2.2 billion, which will support the wages of over 2 million local workers. Eligible employers will be notified by post of their payout amount later this month. With this, more than $26.7 billion in JSS support would have been dispersed.